All right, beauties, we are gonna be doing a get ready with me today featuring the brand new full fantasy palette. I'm gonna prep my skin first. I always go in with some type of essence, a toner, and I especially really love the SOS spray from Tower 28. Next up, I'm gonna go into a Holy Grail. I've repurchased this and I love it. It's the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. It is absolutely beautiful and you can see upon application, it has a beautiful kind of mid-density type of texture to it. Um, it's not super, super heavy or thick. It's not gloopy or anything like that, but it's not incredibly watery or thin. Um, it goes into my skin beautifully and it leaves such a great little glow. I love it. And I, it doesn't make you oily or anything like that. So if you do have oily skin, I also think you could appreciate it and value this. So we are prepped. We're going to go into some swatches. I will pop up swatches and everything for you guys as well in an up close of the palette before we dive into the palette. All right, beauties, this is an 18 pan palette for retail price of $48. I did purchase the palette myself. It has a total weight of 22 grams. They are vegan and cruelty free. It does have a large mirror. Hey girl, hey, and it does fold all the way back. Not important to some people, but I value that and appreciate that. I love that there is a lot of depth here. I love it goes from very light to very dark. I also really love the blend of the mattes to the shimmers. I'm gonna go in first with this very soft bone shade. You're not gonna see it. I'm just using it to help me blend out deeper shades. Next up, I wanna go in with this kind of more mid-tone. I like to call this like a little teddy bear type of brown, a more caramel shade of a brown. And we're gonna deepen it up just a little bit. I'm keeping this in the crease, bringing it slightly lower than I put the initial shade at. And I really loved the tone of this. I like that you could pair this with either warm or cool. It kind of leans whatever direction you pair it with. I really love that. Um, I'm already very comfortable with Laura Lee Los Angeles formula as well as Lunar Beauty's formula. I've been really impressed by both brands as far as quality and things like that of their products. So I assumed I would like this. Um, this blended out incredibly well. I started off with a less is more approach just because I didn't know how much depth I was gonna get with this. Um, it performed exactly like I anticipated it performing and I think it is a stunning shade. I wanted to go in and also deepen this up. By the way, this was for date day with my sexy husband. So I wanted something that was a little bit more intense than I would normally go for daytime, but still wearable, if that makes any sense. Which, of course, wearable depends on what you see wearable as. Do what makes you feel like the best version of yourself. But I went in with this beautiful, deep kind of berry wine shade, like a plummy shade. And I put this very intensely on the outer corner. And this also was just a stunner. Absolutely beautiful. Then I went in with my tried and true NYX glitter primer as I typically do. I find that you don't really need to do that with this, but I was wearing this for a long period of time and it was 16,000 degrees outside. So, you know, we wanted to place down some NYX glitter glue and then I had to play with this beautiful like duo trio chrome shade and then this beautiful sparkly shade. Oh my gosh, you can see how incredibly beautiful these are. Very, very easy to use. Very beginner friendly. I feel like the formula of this is incredibly beginner friendly. Um, it has a nice richness and a nice depth to it, but they're so easy to blend and you can build them up. It's not like straight out the gate, super harsh pigment that you can't blend out. So they're very beginner friendly, very, you know, very blendable. I really like the formula of this. This freaking shade right here. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So I put this first shade on the outer part of the lid and then of course the lighter shade on the inner portion of the lid and I just think it was absolutely stunning. And I'm trying to use up this last little bit of my Huda Beauty cheese cake foundation stick. I feel like especially for me in the summertime, I don't tend to go super glowy, dewy, luminous anymore, the way that I used to, in, you know, in previous years. 
Um, I like to go a little bit more kind of soft matte or more like a satin texture of foundation just because it's a lot more long wearing. Um, so I kind of do the reverse of what most people tend to do in the summertime. Um, I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics. This is like the Heavenly Lux brush or something like that or the Love is a Foundation brush. Um, I love this brush. It's nice and dense. Um, very short, tight packed bristles. Love it. Um, and this foundation, you guys, is literally freaking bulletproof on my skin. And then I'm going in another paint project that I'm working on, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. Um, I use a very much less is more approach with powder. As you guys know, I have very dry skin. But I do find that especially, like I was saying with the foundation in the summertime, I need a little bit more coverage. I need to set things down just a little bit more because it is so hot and muggy here. Next up, I went in with a fine detail brush and I went to the lower lash line and smoked it out with that same kind of berry plummy shade. Um, I really wanted this to be pretty intense. Sorry, I'm blind as hell. Y'all know that. So I had to get up close to my mirror, but I smoked out the lower lash line. Then I went in with another OG classic favorite of mine, the Omega Bronze. Uh, this is the shade Tantastic by Marc Jacobs. Um, obviously, you can probably still find this, I think, through Macari and places like that, but they are no longer a brand. That makes my little heart sad. Um, but I went in and just kind of bronzed up, warmed up the skin with a little bit of bronzer. Then I went in with my By Terry little like highlight quad that I got in my little swap from Kate. This is absolutely stunning. Not the most like sheeny, high shine, fold type of, of like texture. Um, it honestly kind of reminds me of the Hourglass powders, but it is beautiful. Um, it gives a beautiful kind of smooth blurred effect to the skin and it is very long lasting. Then last up, we curled the lashes and I went in with the one size mascara and I finished up with the Trigal Cosmetics Lip Oil in Grape and we take the hair down and I did wear my hair au natural today. I was very proud of myself. That is the look. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful.